At first, she tried to be like other girls, but her classmates spread word that her father was an Ura traitor, selling out the city. One young man stood up for her, or so he led her to believe. He knew much of her heritage, and she grew fond of him. her to take him to her family den to meet her father. Spoke of how he wanted to meet a man from the terminals. When the young man greeted her father in the Ura's native language, her father flew into a fit of rage and threw them out. The young man never told her that the Ura's native language is not to be used by foreigners. To do so is a terrible insult. It was then that she decided to escape. The two of them could flee the city together and go to the Tassel terminals. They would hide inside a garbage bin until it got ingested by a scumbag then let him slosh on out of the city for disposal.
succeeded, but the authorities were already there when that scumbag sidled up to the city walls. The young man had sent the authorities a tip, told him her father was using her to sell secrets to the Tazel terminals. She and her father were arrested for treason, but her father got a deal. Return to work for the Mansers, and she'd go free. Before they parted ways for the last time, her father whispered a desperate plea. Hurry home to the den and lock yourself in. She did as she was told, and deep down underground inside that den, she found a journal written in her father's hand. Next day, the door to the den turned to ash. The girl came up for air, and she saw the calamity all around her. When the kid wakes up, his world's still in pieces, just the way he left it. The shards are getting harder to find. Not everything blew up in the calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. 
The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. So, in a way, the beasts of the wilds, they're all survivors, too. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. That learning led to some interesting inventions. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Playing with the cauldron's fires became an addiction. Can't fault our people for their natural curiosity now, can you? Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. to keep out of the cauldron. The unforgiven scent of sulfurous dirt. Taste of air so hot it sticks to your lungs. 